Yo, what's up boys, in today's video I'm going to talk about EA Sports and why just they don't care uh, about us guys because literally the game, okay, we have team Deer event, it's so cool, but there are some things that are just so, so bad about the game guys. I mean, they have to change a lot of things and I have to tell the truth in this video because no one, no other YouTubers are telling the truth in their videos and uh, now I want to tell you everything, I want to be honest with you guys and tell you everything that you need to hear uh, and uh, the first thing that I need, that I need to uh, talk about is the, uh, the division arrivals, the first uh, sign for that that they don't care about us guys is uh, the team of the, the division rivals rewards because the season ended and they haven't changed the rewards dude, not even uh literally it's it's 80 to 95 it's 89 to 95 bro we have 97 overall players and they haven't changed the uh, packs we have the, literally the same packs not even team of your players in the packs guys look at this no no team of your players in the packs again this pack is worth 40 points and you're go no, not going to get anything even if you get the best possible uh players for example let's let's say that you get the third uh, best uh, possible player, he's 40 million coins, not, okay, not bad, but, for example, those, uh, cards here that are 93 overall, even if you pack 93 overall, only, only 20 million coins, dude, it's it just not worth it, dude, those points require to be in FC champion every single season, uh, and, uh, you're not even getting that many points, as you can see, I, I can't even afford that pack, because it's super, super difficult to farm those points, and basically, it's not worth it, so, they, didn't make something super simple guys just to change the freaking packs guys i'm not going to open those packs maybe i'm just going to save my points until they change the packs because it's just not freaking worth it don't open those packs guys trust me you're going to make a huge mistake just wait i don't know when they're going to change it they're super lazy bro they're super lazy ea sports are super lazy bro they only want us to spend money on the game they only uh Put all of those packs here. Look at this, bro. 50 packs. 50 packs. And if you open 20 of those packs, you're going to get this free 95 to 97 untradeable bonus uh, team of their player. Okay, it's normal. This is the, the reason why they are making the game because they want to earn money. But you have to balance the things. You cannot just earn money without providing the value that it requires. If you want to make a lot of money, you have to provide a lot of value, guys. Literally, the pack work is so freaking bad, bro. The pack luck is so bad. Okay, they give us some exchanges uh, with a huge potential of making investment and making a lot of uh, coins, guys. As you can see, I have nearly 300 million coins and I have this unbelievable team, guys. Look at this absolutely unbelievable team that uh, I have right now. My team is super strong and I'm going to buy a new central midfielder is super easy to guess who is going to be but guys the market is so bad for example uh, i want to talk about the market because this player here for example he was 999 plus uh, look at the price drop he was 400 million coins and then he started to drop and the price drop was something around two days bro literally two days waiting for his price to go down because the market is so freaking bad bro like j just change the market uh, like the PC version and the console version You can sell the player for the price you want for example I can sell this Roberto Carlos card for 100 coins I think it's alright if I want to sell this card for 100 coins Why not? I can sell him for 10 billion coins if I want Why not guys? Why not? It sounds amazing We can snipe players But now we cannot snipe players Because they have price range That we have to wait to change So we cannot by the player it's super super uh, bad they need to change that i don't want to talk about how bad the market was there were so many 999 plus players and uh, we waited months so we can sell our players it was so freaking bad the prices were glitched and uh, ea sports didn't care one more thing that we have to mention is the freaking gameplay guys the gameplay is so freaking bad i'm not going to talk about manager mode because I, I, don't, I just don't play the freaking mode, it's, so, it's, it's, super, it's super boring, I don't care about it. 
Versus attack is super pay to win. If you don't have a high overall team, you're going to lose every single game. The same thing for major mod. The, uh, the best mod, in my opinion, uh, is uh, head to head, but is so bad here, guys. Because, for example, you're uh, winning, uh, for example, five games in a row, everything is perfect, then, then you're losing five games in a row. And you can't do anything. Your team plays super slow. They're turning like trucks. They can't take a single freaking shot. Your defenders are just not existing. Your goalkeeper cannot save anything. So bad, guys. The script is so bad. I have an entire video talking about the script and showing you scripted matches. Uh, so make sure to watch that video. But it's so bad, guys. They have to fix the freaking gameplay. It's so slow. Last uh, game... Uh, the, the, the last uh, FIFA Mobile gameplay was absolutely amazing. I was enjoying the gameplay. Uh, and uh, for example, if you play... Now I'm, I'm literally FC Champion. And uh, by the end of the season, I'm going to be uh, FC Champion 1. Probably I, I can do it. I can literally be FC Champion 1 if I want. Uh, and if I play, for example, versus player who is world class uh, 1. I mean, that's pretty bad. I mean, it's, it's, it's bad. And uh, I have to destroy him. I'm literally better than him. A lot better than him. And if we play uh, 1v1, I'm not probably not probably going to score more than 2 goals. Literally, this is the maximum, guys. I'm going to score 2 goals. Super difficult to score those goals. And uh, the match is going to end uh, with 2 goals difference. Super, super difficult for me to win this game. But last FIFA, I was able to beat those uh, people that were... Uh, for example, I'm, I was uh, I was uh, FIFA champion, and he was uh, world class, and I was I, I was beating them seven nil, eight nil. Results like this now it's impossible to have a result like this in this FC Mobile, guys. Only if the player is not playing seriously and uh, if he's scoring own goals and uh, things like that. Uh, it's super sad, guys. They have to change their freaking gameplay. They don't care about us, guys. Literally don't care. Uh, promo after promo, uh, packs for uh, FC points uh, after packs for FC points. They want us to spend money on the game and nothing else. I, I just don't enjoy playing the game right now, guys, because the gameplay is so freaking bad. For example, I buy a new player and I can I just can't enjoy the new player, bro, because the gameplay is so bad and it, the difference between a uh, 90 overall hullet and a 97 uh, overall hullet it's just not going to be that huge, guys. I, it's just not going to be that huge. You're not going to, to feel the difference that much, which is absolutely sad, guys. And I, they, they just have to freaking change that, bro. They have to change this because stats don't matter, for example, guys. Uh, there's, there are players that have uh, bad stats, but they, but they play better than player with the better stats, which is, what doesn't make any sense at all. It doesn't make any sense at all. They have to fix this, bro. They have to fix this. Look, look at these guys. They haven't changed the Division Rivals rewards. Literally, the season ended. And I was waiting three more days so those uh, packs from the last season can expire. And I was hoping for new packs. I was checking their Instagram profile so I can see the new rewards. Because they are posting everything new. But they are so freaking lazy that they, they don't post the things in the Instagram profile, profile in the right time. For example, we have already the players released and they're posting them three days after that. Yeah, bro. Yeah, EA Sports. I saw the players in the game. You have to announce them before that. One day before that, for example. Literally, super lazy company, dude. Super lazy company. And I'm so happy that now FIFA are going to make a different game. And next year, we're going to have FIFA 25 and FC. EA FC 25. Uh, there is a game that Cristiano Ronaldo is investing in, so this is a third game. Okay, eFootball, eFootball, I don't think that uh, they have chance, but uh, three different football games. And now uh, I'm literally hoping that FIFA are going to make a better game than EA Sports so we can play again FIFA. I just want to have a, a good experience in the game. How much time we need to wait for career mode? How much time we need to wait for drafts? For uh, foot champions, how much freaking time you lazy? Okay, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything because uh, uh, it's super sad, guys. We want to have fun. Why don't you add drafts to the game? Add drafts. Add uh, add career mode. We have every single team. Literally, we have the kits. We have the logos. We have the licenses of those teams. Why just don't add career mode? Okay, make it simple. And then update it 
Just g g give us the opportunity to play that, bro. Give us the opportunities. We have national teams. We have everything we need. We have the players. Add career mode. It's going to be super fun, bro. Without script, without anything. Making transfer is going to be so cool, bro. Drafts. Draft is going to be absolutely amazing. For example, you have to pay, uh, I don't know, 3k gems, 3k gems to enter the draft. And, you're, and then you're playing draft. It's going to be absolutely amazing, guys. But they don't care. They don't freaking care, guys. I'm telling you. They just don't care for, about the game, bro. It's super sad. This icon journey is super stupid. Remove it from the game. No one is playing this. No one cares about this Zidane card. Literally, the new players in the game are going to open a pack and they're going to pack a team of your player. And they're going. this Zidane is going to be unusable one day after a player started the game. Literally, it's going to be absolutely unusable. Why don't you add player picks, for example? Literally, this is the mobile, this has to be the mobile version of the console version. Literally, they have player picks, foot champions, which is a uh, competitive mode when where you can face players that are a lot better than you, uh, a lot worse than you. So why don't that, why don't you add this to the game? The most competitive thing in the game is literally this, this thing in a, in a, in a division rivals, head to head. And even the rewards, bro, I, I forgot to mention the rewards. They haven't changed the rewards, bro. I literally uh, finished, I think, Legendary 1 on uh, or Legendary 2 on uh, Verse Attack and I got 82 overall player. Thank you so much, eSports, for playing one entire month versus Attack. I got 82 overall GOAT player. That is 999 plus on the market. Thank you so much, eSports. I really appreciate that. Here, I packed an icon. Uh, from the uh, from the FC champion two rewards 85 to 94 are they dumb bro are they stupid i don't understand man it's super annoying that they don't care about the game and now in this moment i'm playing more bro stars than uh than fifa than uh, fc mobile because it is disgusting bro I, I i i enjoy playing bro stars right now i don't enjoy playing this dude it's so freaking sad. I feel like the game is going to die after the team of the event. I really feel that this is going to happen. If they don't add uh, Euro 24 uh, event, uh, if you remember the World Cup event, it was absolutely amazing. If they don't do the same thing with the Euro, the game is going to be freaking dead, bro. It's going to be freaking dead. Literally. Literally, guys. Why they don't care? I don't understand. Are they dumb? Are they stupid? Are they lazy? I don't understand. Change the freaking rewards. I was playing versus the best players in the world only to get uh, I think 89 overall Sanchez and he's 99 plus on the market guys if I look at the is he here bro I, I, I'm not very sure if I sold him no he's not even I'm not even able to sell him bro this is what I played for bro this card of uh, Sanchez is what I played entire month thank you so much esports thank you so much I don't have anything else to say guys let me know in the comment section what do you think about this and uh, uh, just let me know in the comment section and uh, subscribe for the channel if you agree with me and uh, yeah guys thank you for watching and see you in the next video